Hello, and welcome to uh, RTC on Channel 4. I'm your host, Tanner Lee, here with Coach Felke, the coach of the girls' volleyball team here at Rochester High School. Thanks for joining us, Coach Felke. Thanks for having me. Um, I just wanted to kind of get your thoughts um, on um, going into this season. Um, first of all, I want to know how many seasons have you been coaching volleyball? I totally had 32, but 31 at Rochester. 31 at Rochester. Yes. And how, I'm guessing the game's changed a lot since you first started coaching? Oh, very much. Um, it used to be to, to 15 points, and you had, a, um, you had to earn your, your point by getting a serve over the net. Now it's rally scoring, so every time there's a serve, there's going to be a point awarded. Uh, the game has improved in, in tempo and pace and intensity. Um, it's a lot faster. I think it's, it's evolved to the point where kids can use more of their athleticism. Um, the hitters float along the net and, and you know reappear in the left, middle, and right. And our, our defensive people, um, we now have what's called a libero, that that can be a defensive specialist. And they do not count as one of the entries into your, your game. And so it allows you to have a little bit more freedom. Plus, you can specialize on one of those kids that's a really good defender. So many changes. Oh, many, a lot of changes. changes. A lot awesome. of changes. Um, what are some of your goals coming into this season? Well, one of our goals is actually just find ourselves. You know, we are coming off a season that we had a really a lot of success. These kids that are returning have learned from some of the best. And um, I, I look at the scrappiness that we have in our kids and the energy that they provide. They have a lot of fun together. Um, one of the neat things that I think is that they're fearless. Mm -hmm. um, they don't worry about their errors. They just get ready for the next contact. And so the camaraderie that we have, uh, all of those components, I, I think, are going to make for a really fun, energetic season. And how's the um, strength of the conference looking this year? Strong. Strong. Uh, you know, our conference is always one of those that we gear up for, and Southwood is always our first match that we open up with. So they're one of our targets that we always have, um, followed by Northfield. So it, it's always going to be a very competitive, strong conference, and that's one of our big goals. Yeah, good deal, good deal. Um, who are your seniors this year? We have one senior. One senior. Her name is B. Pollock. So all the spotlights on her this year. All the spotlights on B. <laughs> so pretty young team then. We are young. We have four returning from last year that saw a lot of court time. Uh, those roles will be different for them. Um, they played significant parts of our season, but not necessarily the primary hitter or um, passer, et cetera. So interesting enough, we have no serve reception players coming back from last really? year, and we have no true defenders coming back from last year. So wow. it's going to be, you know, these kids that work their tail off and, and they played their roles last year um, on the team that they played. But this year, there's a lot of openings for people to step up and take a position. So just like you're saying, it's kind of like finding yourselves. Exactly, so finding yourself and just kind of blending together mm -hmm. and finding that cohesion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what are some of your uh, biggest games or uh, matches uh, heading into this year on the schedule? Well, we have a lot of tournaments that we enter, and so um, we start out in two weeks that we're going to go down to North Miami and play four matches within a, within a day. Obviously, we're going to have our Southwood match and followed up by Northfield, as I said before. We go to Lafayette Harrison, which we see a lot of good competition. Mm -hmm. um, Angola, Lafayette Harrison, uh, Bloomington North, so those, that's always a really fun competitive tournament. Um, you know, followed by three more tournaments that we go to, to Twin Lakes as well as South Bend Clay. So we get to see some people that we don't always see. We then follow up with going to Southwood, and we get to play Muncie Central. You know, uh, yeah. Muncie Central, they're big time. They're yeah. always first or second in the state. So, so that's really, really fun for us. Definitely get to play some big schools we and do. big time competition. It's a tough schedule. Um, and then, our, of course, our section. Mm -hmm. We went up to 3A, and um, that's always very competitive. And how's the adjustment going to be different going up to 3A from uh, previously in 2A? Um, we've never won a sectional in 3A, so that's going to so be a there, challenge for us. There it is right there. There yeah. it is. That's a, that's, a, that's a goal. Yeah. And what's the um, difference in uh, preparing your uh, players and your team for a tournament on a weekend as opposed to just like a single match on a weekday? We condition a great deal. We condition within our drills, and we condition heavy because we have to sustain a four-day match. Mm -hmm in anywhere from 89 to 99 degree weather. Yeah. And those kids, we may play um, a back-to-back -back match mm -hmm. and then have a break. And so preparing for them on a Friday night, we get done at five. Okay. Um, but just that endurance, you know, making sure that the kids are, are well fed, they're nourished, they're hydrated, and then they just, it's a great day of experience. Yeah. A lot of contacts. Yeah, sounds like a lot of fun. It is, a it's, it's fun. a lot of fun, tiring, a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, and um, building off last year, uh, 
how will this team's this year's team do? I mean, what you've kind of already hit hit on um, what your hopes are um, and your expectations, but um, sort of those pretty much your goals just to um, challenge for the conference title and sectional title. Right, and I think it all starts with defense. defense. You know, we've worked really really hard on our blocking. Um, we've worked hard on our serve receive, and that's got to get better. Mm -hmm. You know, as I said, there's no returning serve reception players back, yeah. as well as defense. And those are things that we've done. We've devoted a tremendous amount of time to our defense and to our, our net play as well. And so what I'm seeing right now is they're very resilient. Mm -hmm. They're not getting down because they make a mistake. So they're ready to get back for that next ball, which is going to be huge. Yeah. Um, there's errors to be had, but you know they just let it roll off their back. And so all those little components are going to be really, really big. They're very scrappy. They're very reactive. Mm -hmm. um, they're a never-say-die team. Mm -hmm. And so those little things are really big. One of our big challenges is the fact that we started school on the first day that practice was allowed wow. to start. Yeah. So our two-a-days, we kind of be, became creative. Uh, we went from 6 to 7.30 in the morning mm -hmm. this entire week um, just to get about seven additional hours. Yeah, you know, seven hours compared to some of the teams that may get 50 hours. That, yeah. That's a little bit different, yeah. but, you know, we're plunging forward, and we're not going to let that have an yeah. effect on us. We're just going to work really hard. Got to work with what you got and make the best of it. Exactly. And um, what advice would you give to uh, parents who are trying to get their uh, younger kids involved in the volleyball? I think it's a great game. I, I think it's a game where kids are – they can use their athleticism. Mm -hmm. um, there are some ways in which they can completely control the game themselves, and one is by that serve. Mm -hmm. You know, if you can disrupt the other side's the other side's serve reception pattern and bring their setter out of the setter's box, then they cause some havoc on the other side. So that's a neat area where kids can kind of take control of that. Uh, another one is by the kill. Mm -hmm. You know, if you can become a place hitter or a power hitter and make that defender move, you know, that's that's a gratifying way. Um, another one is a st is blocking at the net, mm -hmm. you know, not allowing that ball to, to penetrate across mm -hmm. our side. Um, on the other flip side of that, defensively, if you are a gut out, hard working kid and you refuse to let a ball hit mm -hmm. your floor, not in my house. Yep. I mean, it's a great, great feeling. So you've got that power hitter and she thinks it's going to go down and you've got this defender that says, Bring it. Not gonna, happen, yeah. Not gonna happen on my court. Yeah. So I, you know, I just we're really excited for the season. Yeah. We're really excited to build with these kids, and they're very energetic and they're working hard. Yeah, and that's that's what you all you want to hear, I guess. Exactly. So, sounds like a great group of girls, and uh, good luck this season. Thank you very much. So. Hopefully, we get a lot of fan base and come out and see them. They're they're a fun group of kids to watch. And there you have it uh, from Coach Felke herself. If you haven't been out to a volleyball game, make sure you get here and watch the Lady Zebras in action this year. Thank you for watching. Thank you.